Papadina, in this video I'm gonna be making a simple, yet not so simple spatula. I've made at least a few spatulas before, but there was a problem with the last and unfortunately my favorite design. So this is the design with an issue. As you can see, the stem of it is way thinner than the previous one. And even though it felt very light and nimble, it eventually broke uh, in the thinnest part of the stem. And to be exact, it didn't really break, it split along the grain. And when I look at it now, I probably made a mistake selecting the wood uh, to begin with. Because if the grain would have gone along the stem, it should have held. If I remember correctly, it broke somewhat like, like that. So that means the grain direction was going this way. Well, anyway, all I wanted to say that grain direction matters a lot, especially in the tiny projects like this one. Okay, so let's stay mindful and begin the build. So I chose to go with very light colored uh, walnut piece for the main body, so it would nicely contrast with the handle cut out of uh, black walnut crotch, so it will have some funkiness going on inside. And in the middle I laminated a piece of uh, ash. So now I'm gonna rough shape the spatula using this cheap yet very effective belt sander. So I have a basic shape done and as you can see I made it for the right-handed person and also I've added an extra feature I've never done before. I basically created a slight upward twist so it would uh, fit the movement of right-handed person better or at least I hope it will. But at this point shaping it with the belt sander became too aggressive so I will switch to the rotary tool and I will make all the finessing work with the Dremel. I created a hollow grind on the pad of the spatula so it became uh, even lighter and more defined, if you will. 
but I've reached the point where uh, Dremel became too aggressive, so I will switch to hand sanding. So I've sanded the spatula to 400 grit, now it's time to water pop the grain, uh, sand it one last time and apply a linseed oil. So the special is finished. I really like how it turns out. It feels very comfortable and nimble. Um, the only thing I wouldn't do again is use uh, ash for the spline uh, because ash has uh, deep pores and it got clogged up with uh, fine dust of uh, walnut. It doesn't look too terrible, but uh, I would like to avoid it. So next time I will use uh, birch or beech or maple. Yeah, but uh, other than that, it, it's <laughs> it's flawless. I really like how it looks. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.